Hey, welcome to Review Crew. This is 10 Minutes Getting Movies! All right, so I'm reviewing Michael Bay's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles adaptation. So this is an adaptation of like any classic Ninja Turtles story, but with the classic feel of a Michael Bay movie. Pretty much if you've seen the Transformers movies from Michael Bay, it's just those movies, but with the Ninja Turtles. But that being said, it's a fun time. I had a blast. I love the Ninja Turtles pretty much. Anything to do with them. The action's good. There's explosions. It's a good summer popcorn movie. A minute is a long time. All right, so yeah, but yeah, it's got your classic uh, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello. Uh, what's her name? Megan Fox is in it. She plays April O'Neil. I don't get why she's April O'Neil. She doesn't really fit that role at all, in my opinion. But Michael Bay really loves Megan Fox. So, how much time do I got? <laughs> I got 40, like 15 seconds. And yeah, so I'd give this movie, honestly, probably like a 6.5. No, no decimals. Just a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Make it easy for the editor. Hi, my name's Truman. I'm reviewing the movie Quicksand 2023. It's available on Amazon Prime exclusively, I think. It's pretty good. Um, let me tell you what happens. So, it's uh, these two people in a relationship, it's on the rocks, but soon they find a relationship in the sand, the quicksand, that is, because they fall into some quicksand they were told not to fall into, and they do, and it sucks for them. They, they have go, the, the, A snake bites the guy, and it stinks, and they don't know what's going on. It's a lot of tense moments, a lot of weird shots, a lot of lingering shots of nothing really happening. A lot of talk of a lot of talk of bears, but no bears appear. I have a buddy who's really upset about that, and um, you know, at the end of the day, I guess the, the nature of movies is that there's always going to be a bad one and a good one, and this just falls right towards the middle, but towards the bad side. So I'd maybe give this movie. How much time do I have left on this thing? Can I see the timer real quick. All right, cool. Um, I'll t um, I'll give that movie. I'll give the movie a four, a four, a four, a four. Bye. Hi, my name is Jess. Today I'll be reviewing a classic 2003 movie, The Room. It's written by, starring, and directed by Tommy Wiseau. Uh, this is a real classic movie. It's a real masterpiece, in my opinion. Um, it follows a man who's uh, unhappy with his life. Uh, his fiance is cheating on him. The whole thing is just, you know, a really brilliant look into um, a man's mind as it, as as he watches his life fall apart right in front of him. Um, it's really philosophical. It has a lot to say about the world. Um, the acting really is just truly brilliant. Uh, I, I would say that everyone in the whole world has to watch this movie. Um, I, I, how much time do I have left? <laughs> A couple minutes? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> the cinematography is just great. Uh, everything about this movie, really great. That being said, I give it a 2 out of 10. Okay. And that's all for me. Thank you. What's up, guys? I'm Mac, and today I'm going to be discussing the 2017 comedy classic The Disaster Artist. Up-and-coming young actor Tommy Wiseau meets Greg in his acting class, and the two decide to go to L.A. together to pursue their acting ambitions. But they realize it's not working out for them, so you know what they decide to do? They create their own movie, The Room. And the film is about how it ends up being this insane cult classic movie that we remember today. <sighs> Let me take a breather. James and Dave Franco, brothers of course, play the best friends in this movie. There's a lot of great actors in this. Judd Apatow makes an appearance. Seth Rogen's in it. Alison Brie. Um, it's really a story about friendship, not giving up in your dreams, and knowing when to go for broke. And whew, real comedy classic. Should have been nominated for an Oscar in my opinion. 10 out of 10. Thank you very much. I will be reviewing the er, I will be reviewing the original SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Um, great movie. Uh, it starts with SpongeBob uh, thinking that he's going to be promoted to manager of the second Krusty Krab. Fortunately, Squidward gets that place. Um, uh, meanwhile, Plankton steals King Neptune's crown. He blames it on Mr. Krabs, which means that Patrick and SpongeBob have to go and try to get the crown that is in Shell City. Um, they go through a whole journey, they sing a lot, um, and uh, yeah, they get the crown back and they save Mr. Krabs and then Spongebob starts singing Goofy Goober Rock and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just a great movie about being a kid and I will rate it uh, 8 out of 10. So, I'm Jamie, um, and I'm, today I'm going to be reviewing 2024's Love Lies Bleeding. It's an A24 movie starring Katie O'Brien and Kristen Stewart as uh, Jackie and Lou. Uh, Jackie is a bodybuilder just traveling to the middle of goddamn nowhere, and Lou is a uh, 
gym owner and they have a very fun relationship as they uncover that Lou's father is like a criminal mastermind and is manipulating her. And it's a really fun movie. It's a lot like the Coen Brothers movies where there's just a lot of like really cool shots. There's a great use of color in this movie, great use of symmetry. There's a great amount of like music. The soundtrack's fantastic. It uses a lot of dark wave, something I really appreciate. Um, their performance is great. The romance is fun. Uh, not a straight person was in the audience when I saw it and it was a great time and everyone enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, the twists are great and it's a really fun time. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Great movie. Hi, I'm Joel, and I will be reviewing Amadeus, 1984, directed by Milos Forman. It won eight Oscars. It's an incredible film. So it's about Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, probably the hardest name known to man. And it's about um, him and his rivalry with Antonio Salieri, who's played by F. Murray Abram. He won an Oscar for this performance. And so Antonio Salieri is in this insane asylum, and he basically tells the story of Mozart from his perspective. It's absolutely incredible. You see like the jealousy from Salieri and you see the genius of Mozart at a young age, what he was able to do. And it's, it's one of the most beautiful movies I've ever seen in my entire life. And a lot of like castles, like in the, in the Vienna area, it's, it's incredible. And one scene that's always stuck with me, he writes Requiem, the song to his death on his deathbed. It's just incredible. So I'd give it a nine out of 10. Hi, I'm reviewing the Scooby-Doo 2002 live action movie. Um, I think this movie sucked. Um, I think the animation in CGI is horrific. I think as a PG movie, it's not very PG. And I think Scrappy Dappy Doo needs a redo. Um, so I'm gonna rate this a two out of 10. <laughs> What's going on movie lovers? I'm Thomas today with my one minute. I'm reviewing 2007 Surf's Up. Uh, it's a mockumentary style animation movie following Cody Maverick, who's a penguin from Shiverpool, and he just loves to surf. He's so chill, he loves to surf, but no one really gets him, you know, in his, in his lifestyle. He just has to sling fish all day, and he doesn't like that. So one day when Reggie Belafonte uh, comes to Shiverpool, uh, Antarctica, which is where he's from, uh, and offers him a chance to compete in a surfing contest, of course Cody jumps at the, at the chance. And so he gets there, he meets a guy named Chicken Joe, he's pretty sweet. Uh, best character in the movie by far, um, and you know he just he he wipes out. Uh, he gets he steps on a fire urchin. He meets uh, the famed Big Z, who uh, everyone presumed was dead, but he's actually alive. And Big Z teaches Cody uh, the ways of surfing and how to just chill and live. Um, it's a beautiful, touching movie. He gets the babe at the end. Um, he uh, he doesn't win this co contest. Chicken Joe does, but you know all that being said, seven out of ten. Movie fans, what's going on? This is Nick. Today I'm going to be reviewing. The 1984 Dune movie, directed by David Lynch. Uh, if you know Dune, you know this is a crazy, winding story. It's like 600 pages, 900 pages, if you read the original print. And this movie is condensed into, what, less than two hours? I think it's less than two hours. And it is the quickest paced, most crazy movie. And you probably know David Lynch from like other movies. Uh, he has actually disavowed this movie as the worst thing he's ever made, but like, despite that, it's kind of the best thing ever made. I've rewatched this movie three times this year, and I hate rewatching movies. It's so fun. It's just like, it's like the perfect comfort movie. Uh, Toto does the score, you know, Abba Serene's down in Africa. Uh, I'd really give this movie probably like a two out of 10, but just since I love it so much, you know, nine out of 10. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching!